Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jusa Lachey. Today I'm going to be taking you through some tips, tricks, and methods that I use in order to maximize my space so that all of my clothes fit. Now just for context, I do live in a New York City apartment. I don't have that much closet space to work with, but I do have a lot of clothes. I have struggled for the longest to fit my clothes and my method of doing things wasn't always that great, but thank god for my husband he came and changed the game for me and so i learned a lot about how to you know effectively use my space so that all of my clothes can fit and i'm just going to be sharing that with you guys today i'm going to be taking you through one of my closets actually more than this i'm going to take you through a couple of things in this room so that you can get a full idea of you know how i make things fit if i get the measurements to this closet i'll let you guys know so you have a general sense of the space that i'm working with this is obviously the closet that came with the apartment this is not a walk-in closet so just be aware that there's a lot going on in here okay welcome to my closet <laughs> i'm kind of like nervous to show my closet on camera i don't know why i feel like it's not gonna look that great i'm sorry guys okay so this is my closet i know there's a lot going on in here i'll explain everything i do have a little system i have my blazers here i have my dressy shirts here i have my sweaters and collared shirts and such here i have my jackets down here and i have my pants over here my first tip is to use your space vertically now a lot of the times people don't use their space vertically and they use it horizontally and because they use it horizontally they don't get to maximize that space that's up here and down here for those of you guys who don't know you can put an extra shelf up in your closet and you can use space up there if you don't already have a shelf you can use space underneath at the bottom of your closet to put totes and such or even shoes so that's a great way to maximize your space now i'm going to show you guys exactly what that looks like in my closet so we're walking in we're walking in and as you can see there is a shelf right here these are like old you know greeting cards and stuff that are you know heartfelt and stuff that i want to keep and read later on these are like some house slippers i've kept stored up this is my neck pillow and i have another box here all oh, these are my college columns like what i wrote for the school newspaper so i just throw that up there but yeah these are certain things that i keep up here and now bringing you down to the bottom of my closet i have these skinny totes um that i use to actually store my skirts because i just do not have enough space honestly to hang my skirts unfortunately so um i really should have folded this before i showed this you guys but hey real life so these are like my more fitted skirts and slightly shorter skirts and then here are my looser skirts so guys as you can see i've used the bottom portion of my closet and i have used the top portion of my closet so i really just maximize that space up and down also guys if you are looking into purchasing more furniture for clothing storage and you don't have that much space to work with consider getting storage that's taller and slimmer which takes up less floor space rather than furniture that's shorter and longer which takes up more floor space Another tidbit is to consider using two poles instead of one. Now this closet used to just have one pole, but again, my husband came and changed the game. So now I have a pole up here and a pole down there. And I promise you there is no way that I would have been able to fit all these clothes in there with one pole. I used to just have one pole and my additional clothes was spilling out into suitcases and all these extra places. But with two poles, I'm able to fit so much more. So I'm very, very grateful for these two poles. And the only downside about having two poles is that you can't necessarily fit really long things in there. But I'll tell you guys what my solution is to that. Being able to have two poles means you just have two extra sections to hang things more room for clothes just gonna interject real quick i see that you're still watching this video and since you are you might as well do your girl a solid and hit that red subscribe button and while you're at it you might as well turn on your bell notifications so that anytime i post a video you'll never be out the loop back to our regularly scheduled program 
So guys, the next method that I use to maximize my space is using space saving hangers. Now, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. I hate having these hangers. I hate them with a passion and I cannot wait <laughs> to have a space where all my clothes can just be sitting on their individual hangers. The reason why I can't stand these hangers is because it's actually kind of like a nuisance getting my pants in and out and the same thing for my dresses which I also show you guys but you know what we make it work and that's the most important part so instead of me hanging just one pant down there I'm able to hang at least four pants sometimes I might have to squeeze and put like two pants on one section but honestly this really helped me out because other than that I was not going to be able to fit my pants in that section and so having space saving hangers helps a great deal and I also have space saving hangers for my dresses which now diverts me to my dress closet that I'm about to show you so this is actually my dress closet oh child do not look in that mirror it's a lot going on you can't see it but this closet kind of goes a little bit deep in there I can just show you guys do not mind the messiness and stuff but this goes a little bit deeper in so i can pretty much just fit a great deal in here that's all i'm trying to say so as you guys can see i use space saving hangers for my dresses as well so i'm able to fit a great amount of dresses which is very very helpful this is how i'm able to fit my long things however there are a few things that still spill over like my fur coats my long fur teddy coats which I'm going to show you guys in a second where I put them. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the beginning of the video. <sighs> Sometimes you just got to make a sacrifice. Just like my main closet also, I use the space at the bottom of this closet and at the top of this closet. So I'm going to show you guys how I maximize the space there. So I am not proud of the way this looks right now, but I go into this quite often and so it ends up getting messy but pretty much I have a tote with all my like sweatpants and sweatshirts and really really thick sweaters in this tote and then I also have another tote here which you guys probably can't see but it's another tote full with a whole bunch of summer stuff and then at the back of the closet like in the back at the bottom it's like a whole other tote with like magazines but just to show you guys that I actually do try to use the most amount of space as possible and I'm gonna show you guys how I use the top of this closet all right guys on my tippy toes this is the top of my dress closet right here I have two shoe boxes I do have a separate shoe closet that unfortunately had to spill out into the hallway because it can't fit into this room but again sacrifices had to be made so this is the top um, of my dress closet and I was able to put two overflowing shoe boxes at the top of that and then also we have here some more storage boxes for me I have like hair products in these I have makeup bags I have travel stuff I have a lot of like kind of miscellaneous things that I really don't have space for otherwise so again maximizing the space from the top to the bottom, we gonna use it all. My next tidbit for saving space is to use any of the spaces that you may not really think of for things such as like totes, shoe boxes. So a good example would be under the bed. We have about five totes under the bed, a suitcase and a few other things. So there is a lot going on under the bed, but again, it's all storage, it's all organized, it's all labeled and stuff. So under the bed is where I have a whole big tote of more of my bags. I have a suitcase of my African clothes. It's still organized. It's easy to access. And so using spaces like under your bed for especially like totes is amazing. And even if you don't necessarily need space for like shoes, for clothes, even if you have stuff like gift wrappers and gift bags and stuff like that, you can get one of those thin totes like the totes that I showed you um, that I keep my skirts in. Something thin and you know short that you can easily place under your bed and it will not have to be like in a random place in your house. I also was not originally gonna show you guys this, but to the point of maximizing space in the places that you probably wouldn't normally think of, my side cabinet is not a conventional side cabinet. It's actually a tall, skinny Ikea cabinet on both sides. So I use that for space 
um, for my extra clothes. So I'm just gonna show you guys how that looks. And bear with me because I actually don't really know how that looks right now, so we'll see. Alrighty guys, so here's my cabinet right here. This is where I keep a lot of things. And when we open it, this is where I keep a lot of my clothes. I know this is not like ideal, but it gets the job done. So I have pajamas, pajamas, slightly more pajamas, socks, underwear, books and Bible and things, charger, um, shirts that are overflowing at this point, some workout clothes, and my swimsuits all the way down here. So as you can see, Oh, and my headscarf right here. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm able to use a lot of the space right next to where I sleep. All right guys, so for my very last tip on how to maximize space, I would recommend using hooks. I needed a place to put my robes. I have quite a bit of robes. So you guys probably can't see unless I bring you closer. So here's where I keep like my robes. Sometimes I like hang some of my bras over here, but yeah, it's just easy to have my robes hanging so I can just grab it and go. And then on top of that, we have hooks on the closet doors themselves because honestly, the teddy coats and the fur coats, they just a little too big and bulky. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. It cannot fit in my dress closet. It cannot fit in my main closet. I don't know where else to put it, so it's just gonna have to be on display. So I know that's not necessarily always ideal when you're trying to keep a certain aesthetic, but I'm happy that fur coats look nice, so I don't really mind it as much. Alrighty guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. If you also have any effective tips, tricks, methods that you use in order to, you know, fit all your clothes in a tight space, go ahead and also leave that down below so we can all learn. And again, do not forget to subscribe, help your girl out, turn on your bell notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.